Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough at Chomp. Yep, World 1 2, we got Chomps. Let's watch out below! Let's go! So there's a Chomp warning sign. There's Chomps in the background. Oh my god! Yeah, they, they, they fly off in the background, they come to the foreground, and they fall from the ceiling, dig the hole in the ground, which is a bottomless pit, which will kill you in one hit. It is nastiness all over the place. But as long as you're careful, you won't have issues! <laughs> Woohoo! I should be a little more careful, actually. Uh, we're gonna shoot that. We're gonna shoot that there. I see. I see. Oh, look. Yeah, see, you just gotta, just gotta go a little, little bit softer as you're, you're going along here. Oh, and, uh, look. These posts right here, um... I never really showed you, have I? Well, you, yeah, these posts, you can pound the ground by pressing down in the air, and sometimes there's stuff hidden inside the posts themselves, like behind the posts or whatever you want to call them, or... Yeah, so you might might want to consider pounding all the posts that you see, and oh my goodness, a midpoint? No way! No way! Yes, there is midpoints! Oh shoot, <laughs> I, was, I lost my shy guy, but yeah, there is midpoints in this game. Not really on the first level, though. Do you remember? Press B, then down on the D-pad to make an egg! Press R to throw an egg! The tutorial continues, and we gotta use this to get those up. Yeah. Oh, I also, I also freed that bumper up there. Normally, you're supposed to shoot an egg straight up, but all I wanna do is hit those red coins up there. Well, most of them are red coins, I think. <laughs> With an egg, and yeah, that'll collect them automatically. And I also like to refill on eggs, but yeah, normally what you're supposed to do, if, if if this isn't already broken out, you're supposed to carve your way in here and then shoot an egg up there to free this. And yeah, anyway, I'm gonna refill again, just, just for the kickers. And also see if there's anything down here. No, nope, can't enter this particular shy guy pipe. Ala oh, <laughs> alas, alas, it is a tragedy. I won't, no, I'm not gonna follow your arrows. No, no, I don't trust you. <laughs> okay, this is, this is just basically to show you that, hey, yeah, there's some secrets around here, and yeah, you see, if you, if you go over here, you won't actually be able to see if there's anything back here until you notice. See, there's a little bit more of a cutout than this sort of, like, solid, solid round edge here. So, like, this is more flat as opposed to the one above. Yeah, that's your cue to look for any sort of holes in the walls and stuff like that. And I'm just gonna take a look-see around here. I know there's stuff that can pop out of stuff around this area, if I recall correctly, um, but I don't want to do anything rash, so... <laughs> I just wanna kinda carefully work my way around here. I think this is actually the way back. Um... Yeah, I think, yeah, there's a couple of red coins there, but this is like the punishment area of sorts. And yeah, you see, it's just kind of stuck down here, but this is for a flying section. I just want to kind of show you this lower area here, because I won't need to really come down here. <laughs> it's just a little transition for that entire area. See, there's actually a little secret down here. There's a one-up. Oh, yeah. It's incredible. <laughs> a little transition is so hilarious, because it's... Because, you know, it pauses you when you go through that transition, then it pauses you when you go out of that transition. <laughs> it doesn't really mess with you or anything like that, it's just, it's so tiny. <laughs> you know, it never really comes into play or anything like that. Um, I'm not getting that midpoint just yet, because I just want to make sure I've got everything clear up to this point. Uh, plus select the display your score, do you use special items use da 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 on the d-pad to choose an item, press A to exit, press B, left and right, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I just wanna kinda get myself set up here. Okay, there we go. So this is a morph bubble type thing, and uh, you can turn into a helicopter by touching that bubble. But, well, but, well, I, I would kinda like to get that midpoint first, if you don't mind. That seems like a wise investment. So yeah, I like to get the midpoints after I make sure that everything else is cleared out around it, just to make sure that I've got as much saved in the particular level as possible. Like, now I'm gonna go down here just to see, okay, there wasn't any 
any sort of red coins or anything like that, because I, I couldn't see the whole shaft there, and I didn't remember if there was any red coins on that shaft, like, if you go back around. It's just sort of, like, there to go back if you want to or something, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, now helicopter section. This is probably going to take you a couple of tries to do, which is just fine, because even if you fail this, you'll just pop right back over here. In fact, I'll show you how that works, because I'll be taking multiple routes through this, so it'll take me a couple of tries and a couple of minutes probably to go through all this. But yeah, basically, as you can see, there's there's a whole, whole bunch of stuff that you can fly through here and potentially collect, and I want to make sure that I am not missing any sort of red coins around these parts. Like, oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, so uh -oh. it's like, see, that's sort of like a trap to make you burn time, but it doesn't really matter because you could just restart from where you were. Now, you see I'm flashing, well, maybe you can't see because of the frame rate thing, uh, matching up with the recording, but yeah, see, so you just fly back over here and then you can restart. Now, other levels, though, you don't quite have that luxury, <laughs> because they'll sometimes have you just pop right out into death, but in such cases they're usually more linear than that, so you can kind of kind of look around here like, like like a little bit more easily, so you don't have to keep redoing the same section over and over and whatnot. And it's it's more self-descriptive based on the coin uh, paths and stuff like that afterwards. All right, so I think I cleared out up to those coins over there. Because remember, way down at the bottom is the punishment area type thing, so we just need to now zip through all uh, zip through all this stuff and go on ahead. By the way, you can ah, I was gonna say you can kill enemies by ramming into them with your propellers, or or just jumping on top of them like so. But uh, uh, yeah, since they bounce you around a lot, it's not usually worth the risk. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to. Well, I can always go back, I guess. Um. Yeah, because I think there is, yeah, there's something else up there that I missed. So, yeah, I, I have to go back. See, there's this, it's the shaft of no return, I guess you could say. <laughs> so, well, I mean, it is a, a return path if you go through here. So, because the uh, early levels, they're pretty forgiving in uh, your red coin collecting sprees, as well as flower collecting, oh wait, that's why I gotta hit this. As well as your flower collecting sprees, but the later ones... Ooh, you are going to have to look ahead very, very carefully and think strategically on your feet to get everything done as smoothly as possible in one shot, if that's even gonna work for you, because this game... Oh man, this game will tear you, <laughs> tear you to pieces, despite how cute it may look. Because <laughs> this game... Do not judge it by its cutesy appearance. It will shred you like maybe no game you have ever played before if you dare to 100% this game. And uh, I'd like to go... I'd like to go... Well, actually, I think I cleared everything out, so I can hit that now. And go back around here. Now, don't go down the pipe, because you've seen there's something over here. Yup, there's that, but we're still not done on our collectibles! Oh no! So now you kind of gotta wonder, did we miss anything at this point? Because we can't really go back, especially if we hit a midpoint, and that's why I don't like to hit midpoints until after I actually finished up... Oh, I missed that. <laughs> I didn't know it was spawned over there, and there was those last three coins there. But yeah, you just gotta wonder if you got everything before you go to the next area, so you gotta make sure that you are super super thorough, and also don't be too rash, especially when coming to the end, because there might be a surprise waiting in the wings, like say an enemy hiding in some flowers or something like that, just to mess with you if you are if you see the end goal and you're like, oh man, I am so excited to touch that end goal, I am just peeing myself, and then you miss some sort of enemy trap, and then you take damage, and then your perfect golden stars there on the left side is completely and utterly ruined. <laughs> so don't, don't get rash, just take your time. Oh, I got the bonus, I got the bonus, now I can show you what a bonus is like. There's a couple different bonus games, and uh, as I said, I'll be able to show you them all eventually. I'm hoping what I'm gonna get here is something that I can pick my item. <laughs> <laughs> you know, something that isn't luck-based, and something that isn't precisely, like, life-based, and I got a 1-up for 
getting over 200 points. It is delightful. Okay, flip cards, get items, aim with the cursor and press the A, collect the items on the cards, you hit! If you hit Kamek, you lose all the items, hit exit to quit, so... Yeah, don't... If you get something that you like, don't continue, I recommend. <laughs> okay, that's actually something that I like, because... If you use this item from your inventory screen, you know, pressing select, you can recover 10 stars at any time. So you can use that at the very end of the level if you're lacking on the stars. So I might actually want to keep that, but... Well, I, I think I can actually hold off, because this is still the early game, so let's just keep... Uh-oh. I got Kamek. I lost my item. <laughs> I didn't think I'd actually lose that. I mean, what, what are the chances? Well, 1 in 7, I guess, at that point, but... Still, still, what are the chances? <laughs> There's only one Kemek in that square of eight squares, so... Uh, yeah, that's why I didn't think I would get it. But I got it, and I lost my plus, <laughs> plus ten stars. Oh, well. And with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I do 1-3 as thoroughly as possible.